I love you, Mum. I promise I won't die. The last words of Daniel Spargo Mabs to his mother now transformed into a play. These children are watching, but for her, it's too painful. Unbearable, really, for, because it's because it's because it takes me right back to the well, not back because it's what I live all, all the time. But for us, it's it's there's a kind of it's re-inhabiting that those most awful, awful times. Three years ago, Daniel was a sixth form student at Archbishop Tennyson High School in Croydon. But on the 9th of February 2014, he made a fatal decision, going to an illegal rave and taking ecstasy. Some of his friends came back to school today. It's very true to life. It's quite scary how true to life it is, and it brings back so many memories when we watch it. It brings all the tears and all the memories and everything about Dan back to it, which is... Oh. Quite scary. <laughs> I was meant to be at a party on Saturday with him. There was 12 of us meant to be there. So I think it talks about that bit and it's like George's party. So there was a select few of us meant to be there. So that's when I found out. And then obviously when we came to school Monday, we came in this hall and they did an assembly and just kind of told us. I might be going to this rave tonight. The play is touring 90 London schools. So what impact has watching it had on these young people from his school? It's explained in the play that other people thought that Dan was really against that stuff, which he was, and it's a, it's a very emotional story and um, very real to everyone. Even though I didn't know him personally after being a drama student, having it like portrayed through a play, it really like makes your heart like broken. I remember everyone went out and the funeral car went past and like the reactions um, from the teachers, seeing them cry, seeing them devastated was, it's hard. Daniel's parents set up a charity in his memory and hope the play's message will get through. Anna O'Neill, BBC London News.